the feel of the importance of a regular season game, considering where we're at in this. Kind of play every game like it's a regular season game. I mean, there's no, really no way to go about it other than that. I think um, the moment you think that it's just a preseason game is the moment that you know, you're not prepared mentally, and all of a sudden something sneaks up on you, and you know you're losing force in that game in the first quarter. So um, I prepare every game, whether it's preseason, uh, regular season. Like I'm going to play the whole game, and until that coach you know pulls me out, I mean you got to be prepared to to play a football game. I mean. Those guys aren't going to hold back on the other side, that's for sure. So um, you just got to be prepared like you would in a normal situation. Obviously, you know you don't go into the game planning and things like that, but it's still football. I mean, it's, it's like going against our defense every day. We never know what we're going to get, but you go out there and react and, and play the best you can. That's understandable. That's what you get a decision come on Tuesday. Uh, does that make this crucial? Um, I think every game is crucial. I mean, for me, it doesn't change the way I prepare. I mean, um, like I said, the thing that I try to do is come out and be the best quarterback I can every day, and I'll do the same thing on Monday night. Did the way you played in Detroit did that give you more confidence that everything's working right going into this game? I mean, it's definitely. I think if anything, the confidence part comes back from playing, you know, ten months after surgery. I think that's the only way I look at it. I don't feel any more confident because of how things, you know, that game's in the past. We're trying to build, right. learn from those mistakes, and then improve and, you know, go against Washington this, this Monday. Right, and we the coach said that, uh, that when he makes the decision on Tuesday, uh, he doesn't know if it will necessarily be a permanent commitment to that player and that he's going to kind of reevaluate it on a week-to-week -week basis. So, uh, what are your thoughts on that? I think the best quarterback should play regardless of the situation. So, um, you know, it's a situation I dealt with last year when I came in and kind of said it was a week-to-week -week thing. So for me, I just want to be the starting quarterback of this team, whatever the situation is. And you feel like you have been the best quarterback in this training camp? Um, I think I've played well. I think I can play a lot better. That's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, I think we're always trying to improve. And for us, um, you know, things are coming up quick now. You know, I talked to you a couple weeks ago how training camp, you know, those days are long. Now, you know, today's technically the last day of training camp. We play Monday, then we come around and play Saturday. So I think for me, I'm just trying to take big improvements every day where you're to the point where you're trying to play everything perfectly. Obviously, we all try to go out and be perfect. Um, the other team's pretty good too, but um, you just try to go out and, and improve all the time. I think you're either, you know, every day you come out, you either get better or you get worse. There's no in between. So, um, you know, am I satisfied with how I played? I think I've played well, but I think I can play a lot better. Brian, Brian Johnny you? just told us that right now he's not ready to face his scores. That's what they offer defensively. You would say the same thing, which is you feel like you're ready to go out there and face Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think you know Pittsburgh's so far. I'm you know I'm focused on Washington yeah. right now. I think for me, um, like I said, we're moving along. We're trying to get better. We're improving every day. Um, you know we had a good red zone period today, which is a good sign because that's kind of where we fell off a little bit against Detroit. So you know that's so far from what I'm thinking about right now. I'm just worried about. Um, you know, improving, and you know, hopefully we can take what we did in practice today into the game, and then you evaluate that game and you move on. I mean, there's there's a lot of time between now and then. Well, Brian, you are the starting quarterback. The ESPN is promoing this game as RG3 versus your backup. What do you tell yourself? That I don't watch ESPN, so I told you that. I didn't know. Um, it doesn't change. I mean, it's all, with all this it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because what matters is what Coach Petten thinks, what Kyle thinks. So, the media can make any story they want. Like I said, I avoid all of that. But when it comes down to it, um, they're not the ones making the decisions. When you go back to 2009, uh, put yourself in the rookie shoes. Yeah. Uh, did you even uh, uh, imagine the possibility that if Brady got hurt or whatever happened, that at that age, or with that little experience, you would have to uh, think about being a starting quarterback as a rookie? Anyway. Well, that was my responsibility, yes. Looking back on it now, would I have been would I be the player I am today? It's not even close. But I think I attribute my time in New England as learning football in light years. I mean, I think I learned more in my first year there than I ever learned in my entire career about the game of football, not just offense, quarterback play, but defenses, how to attack things like that. So, um, you know, I can't speak for other rookies. I know I was probably a little bit further behind than most rookies. I mean, I was undrafted for a reason. So, um, you know, I think my, again, I'm a much better co uh, pro player than I was in college. I can honestly say that. I think in college, I was, you know, I can understand why maybe people didn't, you know, overlook me. Why, uh, 